So here we are in DaVinci Resolve 16.2.2. I've got my video clip in the timeline here, and I've stacked the two of them, because what we're going to try to do is have one fade away with this effect, and the other one stay underneath the red color. And so what we're going to use is the edit page and use one of the effects found here under the effects library. And then we're going to go into fusion, make a quick correction to the effect, and then bring it back into the edit page to make the final um, composite mode. We're going to change that for a second. So you've got the two clips are going to be the same here. And what we're going to do on the top, you're going to go through effects library and make them make sure it's opened. You're going to go to Video Transitions and then scroll all the way down where it says Fusion Transitions. We're going to use the uh, Noise Dissolve effect. So you can hold on to this, bring it over to the bottom clip toward the end, let go. We're going to space this out just a little bit to make this effect a little bit longer. And so now what we're going to do is with the effect uh, clicked on, we're going to now bring this into Fusion. But instead of clicking on the Fusion page at the bottom here, we're going to right click on the effect and then click on open this particular effect in the Fusion page. So now what you see here is this effect has already been kind of pre-designed for us. So, so with this effect, what we're going to do is have this fast noise effect be a part of the uh, transition. Again, this is all kind of pre-built. And so what we're going to do is with our media in two, I'll put that into viewer one so you can see that is nothing right now. It's an alpha channel. So what we're going to do is with the media one in two selected, we're going to click shift spacebar to bring up our uh, effects page. Or what you can also do is find this particular node on the selection up here. Brightness and contrast. We're going to bring that down. And the other thing we're going to add, again, spacebar and shift, is a color grain. We're going to do a slight change here with the color grain, grain, I'm sorry, color gain selected. We're going to go over here into the lift and pull this red all the way up. So what you see is this background is now going to be merged or is now going to be used with this red uh, color. We're going to click on the brightness contrast. And over here, we're going to do a small change to the gain, which you can see the intensity of this effect. We're going to bring it down just a little bit. You can play with some of these other effects here as well. Lift and gamma. But for this one, pretty quick and simple. It's easy to just use the gain effect. So now if you see, we can play this back. And this is slowly transitioning out of that one clip which will reveal the other one, which is above. So we're going to go back into the edit page here with this effect on the bottom line. If you click spacebar, you're not going to see anything because this um, video two line is now going to be layered over the other one. And so you're not going to see any effects that we do in the first line. So what we have to do is go back into this top side, the top clip, and go to a composite mode and change this over to darken. And that'll show our blood effect. The bottom one is the one that we changed, which has this uh, red effect coming out. And the top one is going to be the layer underneath that. So if we press spacebar again to show it through, you'll see the blood starts to drip. And that's all. You can tweak and change some of this. If you click on the uh, effect here and you bring it over into the uh, fusion inspector mode in the edit page you can change some of the detail the seethe rate and these are the primary two of the detail and the seethe are the ones that you can tweak and change or move around a little bit but if you just keep those steady it'll still show through as a blood dripping effect. But you notice here it's pretty even across the bottom here under the inspector tab. Then you can change some of these details a little bit. So as it starts to flow in, looks a little bit different. But 
That's all I've got for today. Kind of a quick and easy Halloween effect, end of inch resolve. Again, the uh, effect is brought to us by the effects library in the edit page. Made a short change over here in the fusion section. Whoops. Again, you gotta make sure to click the effect, bring us into fusion page. And we made the fusion, and we made the change here, adding the color gain and then the brightness and the contrast. Pretty quick, simple tutorial. Hope it's helpful as a part of the Halloween uh, October month this month. Hope you enjoyed. If you like what you saw, of course, hit the like button below. If you want to see more, make sure to the subscribe button and the bell notification. You get notified every time I upload content. And please share this video with somebody else who might enjoy it. Thanks for watching, and you'll see you next time.